a show that was lighthearted in origin and now it's gone much, much darker. If you thought last week was bad, it only goes downhill from here. This week, we're talking about the Uyghur Muslims, who up until recently were being held in what China called re-education camps. Uyghurs are a ethnic minority uh, with about 12 billion people worldwide, 11 million of which are in China, specifically the Xinjiang region, where these re-education camps are or were, depending on your view. These camps allegedly work outside the legal system of China and exist for the purpose of preventing extremism and terrorism, along with promoting sinization, which is an adaptation of Chinese culture. In May 2018, the U.S. Department of Justin, Justice estimated that between one and three million people are in these camps. That's between nine and 27% of the populations of Uyghurs who live in China. So thanks to the International um, Consortium of Investigative Journalists, we have some documents that put a little bit of insight on what happens in the camps, such as we know their priorities are secrecy, preventing escape, making sure there are cameras everywhere, and security. We also know that China is aware that these camps are separating children from their parents. So you would think with something like this, the world would be ablaze about it, but it isn't. And Mika Hutari of the Mercator Institute of Chinese Studies in Berlin has the reason why. No one wants to do this alone. There's a great feel, fear of it deterioration of relations with China. China is one of, if not the most financially powerful country in the world. Uh, in 2017, they exported over $1.63 trillion in goods, and the US has intense financial ties to them. Along with this, China is historically very good at suppressing information. Um, think Tiananmen Square. And because of that, I personally believe that these camps are not actually closed, that the Chinese government realized that there has been more publicity and therefore pulled a HR move to uh, make themselves look better. But also like, this is China. Why, why does this matter to us? They are protecting what they think is the safety of their citizens, except China is breaking the Declaration of Human Rights, which they signed, specifically Articles 5, 7, 9, 10, 12, and 18. Not only that, in Article 4 of the Chinese Constitution, it states, all nationalities in the People of Republic of China are equal. The state protects the lawful rights and interests of the minority nationalities, and uh, Uyghurs are one of 35 recognized minorities. This is a very complex subject, and we'll definitely, there'll be definitely be more info coming out as time goes on. As always, tell me what you think, either in the comment section below or at devilsadvocatenhs.com, and reach out to me if you have questions or want to know what my sources look like. Till next time.